When you are provided access to the Involve Client Web Portal, you will be provided this URL. Bookmark it for quick access. When you enter, you will see this login page. In the upper left hand corner, you will see Involve. If you do not see Involve, exit as you're in the wrong spot. Once you confirm that you are in Involve, enter your email address, then your password, then simply click on Login. Depending upon your level of access, your landing page may look different than this. Today I will show you the key elements of the Involve and demonstrate the ease of navigation. You will receive additional training on the specific functions of the portal in other videos. Now if I may direct your attention to the banner at the very top, in the upper left hand corner you will see PA Health and Wellness. As you travel from the left to the right of the screen, you will see several tabs. The Eligibility tab is where you will enter to enter the information and review information. The final item that is important to you will be your name in the upper right hand corner. I'll come back to that in just a minute. In the center of this page, because I have admin privileges, I have tabs to invite and manage users. The SCE admins will have these as well. Finally, if I can direct your attention to the small print on the bottom of the page, you will see that there is an instruction manual, a PDF file. You can access that to download a 64 page PDF file on how to function within this portal. Finally, on this page, you can view and change your account details. Simply go to your name in the upper right hand corner, click on the drop down menu. You will see choices of account details, user management, and log out. To look at your details, simply go to the account details. Here you can confirm all of the details of your account, the information that you provided when you were provided access. To make changes, go to update account. You can confirm all of your questions. You can come in here and change your questions. You can also come here to change your password. Simply enter a new password and retype it. When you're complete, press next. Let's look at checking the eligibility. Here you will see three fields that you can fill in. You need at least two pieces of information. Once you have that information entered in, simply click on Check Eligibility. Anytime that you see the participant's name and it's a blue link, you can simply click on that. Once you click on Check Eligibility, You also then have a green banner with a green thumbs up that says that this participant is eligible as of the date. On this landing page as well, you will find a participant information and a primary care physician information, along with eligibility history and service coordinator. Now if you look to the tabs at your left, you can click on each one of those tabs to view information or to add information. Let's take a look at each of the tabs. Any authorizations will be listed here. Next, we will go to Care Plan. Any information regarding the Care Plan will be listed here. Let's move on to Assessments. As you see here, there are a number of assessments associated that can be completed you will find out in greater detail which assessments you will need to complete. As you see in the right hand side, you will be able to see any of the previous assessments that have been completed. Let's take a look at the health record. Health record information will be listed here. As you see, it will have visits listed. It will have all the medications associated. Any immunizations any lab reports, and finally, any allergies. Let's take a look at document upload. 
you can upload documents here and you can also review any previous documents simply by clicking on that tab. The next navigation tab is notes. Here you'll be able to create general notes. You'll be able to look at coordination of benefits, all of the information regarding the benefits will be listed here. Next is referrals. Moving on to task manager. Here you'll be able to enter tasks. You can review previous tasks simply by clicking on review tasks. Then finally, the last navigation tab is special needs. Now don't forget these key elements. Make sure that you bookmark the URL for quick access to the Involve Client web portal. Always confirm that you are in a correct web portal. It should say Involve. Finally, checking eligibility tab, entering the records, and going to the correct tab. More training will be provided on how to work within the tabs.